Yeah. I'm going to scale slowly, but the one thing that has to happen for me to be able to, to be part of that change and to be relevant during that change. And one of the biggest changes is going to be fee structure. There's just way too many fees on these properties, you know, on every transaction. And that's going to change. That needs to change for the consumer. Right. And when that does, these traditional brokerages aren't going to be able to sustain. I mean, right. people can't right now in Orange County, like in Orange County, the median home price is seven hundred. Eighty thousand dollars. Right. This is a pretty big number. So we have people and agents doing one or two deals a year, and that's enough for their household. And I don't know if they're doing good service or not, but I just feel like it's probably not as efficient as it could be. Efficiencies—that's a big word. So, how is Orange County Real Estate Inc. more efficient than the next brokerage? I'm not saying we're more efficient at this moment, you know, but our goal is to become more efficient. Our goal is to always have the consumer at the forefront of our thoughts too, and then have more transparency during the transaction and have ultimately less fees. In business or when people are approaching me about business, we can market anything, right? Like we can tell our viewers anything. And as long as we stand by that, there's integrity to that if they believe us, right? If they believe our words. So how do you intend to back up or support what you're telling your client base? So you're saying, um, that's not where we are today, but my goal is. So do you have a roadmap to your goals? Yeah. I mean, there's definitely a roadmap and it's a long road and <laughs> it's a long road map, you know, right, right, right. The roadmap changes nearly every day too. I mean, if you look at the last 10 years in 2010 in the real estate tech space, there was about $30 million invested in real estate tech. Right, right, right. 2020, it's now almost $4 billion. <clears throat> the difference between those two numbers is just astronomical. So with all that technology, there's been so much change. Mm -hmm. The problem with all that money and technology is that those people don't want fees to go down because we can't afford to pay for all this technology when fees are cut by two thirds, which, right. which is what Redfin is trying to do, by the way. And I'm not making this stuff up. And one of my motivating factors for starting a brokerage was Redfin and Glenn Kelman. I don't know him personally, but I listen to what he says, you know, and I watch the progress that they make. And it's it's a beautiful business. I really respect what he's doing. I mean, there's lots of bumps in the road and lots of hurdles they have to overcome, mm -hmm. but I respect what he's doing. And I think that that's the direction real estate needs to go. And so to dumb it down for any person listening, not to belittle any one person, but obviously you and I can sit here and talk real estate and have kind of a higher level of understanding in that uh, we've been in it, right? So for somebody who's just tuning in on a one click or whatever, what specifically are you talking about? Are you talking about moving the listing of properties and buying of properties to a online, more streamlined process of which there's less fees and less responsibility on the agent? No. Okay, so so specify. That's part of clarify. it. I mean, part of it. You will be able to buy online. I mean, I think you can do that now. All the big companies do that. Open door. I mean, most of that $4 billion is like open door. You know, they've invested and they've had venture capital money come in. So they're huge where they can instantly buy a house or instantly give people an offer to buy their house. Right, right, right. And remarket. Yes. So, yeah, I mean, we want to do that, too, for consumers who want that. I don't think ultimately what they that's what they want. And ultimately, that's not what we want. We don't and we don't want to take less responsibility off of us or the agents. We're the professionals. We need to take all the responsibility. Right. If something goes wrong, we want to be able to get in there, take 100 percent of the responsibility and be a part of the transaction.